I have a problem. I have a lot of a material item that I really don't need that much of. I have a lot of clothes. There's no way that I wear like all of this throughout the year. So I like to at least once a year go through all of it and um, donate it or sell it. Usually just donate it because I'm first of all too lazy to sell it. And second of all, donating it makes me feel good about it. So I just put all of my clothes into a pile. I did not include, I didn't include some of my pants because I need pants really bad and I go through my pants constantly because I don't have a lot, but I have a lot of sweaters, dresses, and shirts, especially shirts. I have a ton of shirts that I just do not wear ever. Maybe I'll do a part two where I go through other things in my room. But right now we're mainly just focusing on the clothes because there's a lot here that I don't wear. Like there's a lot of these that like, like this is a mine, like this is Logan's. So obviously I'm not gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna put it in a pile to return to him. And then everything that I'm donating, I'm just gonna throw on the floor for now. Let's get started. This, this really stands out to me. It's like, it's like this long sweater. It's a long brown sweater with a zipper. And I used to think, you know, this is pretty cute. You know, it's a good look. It's a comfy, cozy look. Um, but I've had this since I was in grade 7. I think it's time to let it go. Also, look how small the sleeves are. Like, I'm almost certain this is not going to fit me if I put it on. So, this is our first thing that we're letting go of. This, I do not like. And I don't like it because it's short. I feel like, and I also feel like I don't fit it. I don't know. Well, it's kind of cute. Okay, you know what, we're, we're gonna keep the dress. This is really cute, I love this dress. I'm gonna keep it. It's a cute sundress. Summer's kind of coming up, I don't know. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for summer. This is a jean jacket that I painted. Give you a better view. But I'm gonna keep it, cause I feel like it's cool, cause it's handmade. And I actually have never worn in public, so I kinda wanna do that one day, maybe. <laughs> I have another jean jacket. I have two jean jackets, technically. I just don't wear the other one very often. I wear this all the time. The, the sleeves like where the wrists go are kind of tight and I don't really like that. But the rest of it's pretty nice. Like I have, I have my, I have a pin on here from like when I danced. So you see on like dance competitions. I have a patch on here that's like a watermelon. I think it's an iron on, yeah. An iron on patch, pretty cool. Yeah, that's a keep, I like that one, that's a keep. This dress, it's really pretty and I paid quite a bit for it and I'm like sort of starting to fit into it again. Um, I don't want too many things where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna keep it just in case I lose weight. Cause I feel like that's kind of toxic to like keep things that like in case you lose weight. This I genuinely can fit into. It just isn't comfortable all the time. Um, it's mainly my uh, behind that I cannot fit into it. I used to like this dress, but this dress overall like it gives me bad vibes. I'm gonna zoom in just a smidgen. Every picture I have wearing this dress, I look kind of like not good. And also like it made me feel kind of chubby or whatever. And it was like, I'm, I'm, I got a loose dress just so I like wouldn't show any curves cause I like was really insecure. <sighs> I don't know, but it is comfy. I'm gonna give it one more chance this summer. I'm gonna give this one more chance. And if it's not comfortable or flattering, I'm going to get rid of it. It's like hard to see, but it's like, mesh but also like a regular tank top dress underneath and it's like this like neon gr not neon green neon orange color it's really pretty and it has like this cool collar i think i can probably find a picture of me wearing it and i'll insert the picture of me wearing it um this is a look i love this dress it is such a look i need to wear it more in the summer because of how cute it is with like a little necklace you can wear it over top of a bathing suit, which is like what I did. We also have this I got from Urban Planet. It's like this bodysuit leotard. It's like shorts all in one. Um, I like to wear jeans over top of it because I just, um, I think it looks kind of funny without jeans, but I mean, I guess we'll see. I like this, it's comfortable, it's really soft. This is not the most comfortable. I'm trying to like not be all hunched over and have like rolls or something because I'm really insecure. I'm also just in pain from hunching over from schoolwork. This sweater, it's a van sweater. Logan let me have it. Like it was Logan's sweater, but he let me have it. 
it's mine now and I'm keeping it obviously because I love it. Some of these I almost feel like I should put away for the winter but I'm not sure. I still wear like a Christmas sweater because it's like really comfortable so yeah. I have this turtleneck I got from the thrift store which I know looks like a grandmother would wear but it's actually really cute and I feel like it's a cute like spring sweater because it's still pretty cold out. It's cute. I love it. I got this from the thrift store as well. It's a pink sweater. Like, it's thin though. It's it's cute. I like it. I just wanted to show you guys because I got it from the thrift store. And I got a lot of nice things from the thrift store. I actually love the thrift store. Then I have this like bright orange sweater. It's a champion sweater. I don't know how to feel about this because it's also like bright orange. Like I know I have a neon like bright orange dress that's cute, but like this, I don't know, is it a look? I'm gonna keep it because I need more colorful outfits, so I'll keep this for like color. Plus if my hair is like silver with this, I feel like that look really cool. So I'm gonna keep it actually. I, I don't mean to convince myself to keep everything, but yeah. Oh, this, I hate this. This is uncomfortable. It's like supposed to be off the shoulder, but it always rolls up like this. It's just uncomfortable, unflattering, too short. I hate it, so I'm getting rid of it. This, this shirt, it's supposed to be like, I don't know. I I don't think I like this. I don't really like animal print. I was gonna give it a try, but it's not the most flattering. It makes me look like a 40 year old woman trying to be young. This is my favorite shirt. I actually bought this like kind of recently. Not super recently, but kind of. It's like an American Eagle shirt. It's long sleeve. Here's the back. It's so cute. This is another one of Logan's sweaters. You might notice a pattern of Logan's clothing being here. I'm klepto when it comes to his clothing because it's always so cute and fashionable. So I take it and and sometimes I forget I even had it. Like I don't I don't remember having that sweater, that black sweater. I remember having it, but I uh, I apparently did. So sorry about it this i don't know if you can see it it has like these like straps on the shoulders it's just not cute it's constantly wrinkled and i don't know how to like keep my things not so wrinkled it's very difficult for me and i just i do not like it it never works <laughs> so unfortunately i'm getting rid of it because i just i would just not really wear it i never reach for this in my closet so that's what we're getting rid of as well. Here's my American Eagle sweater. I love this sweater. Always have loved this sweater. There's a fluff. Super cute. I like the coloring too. This, my mom asked me if I wanted it because she didn't like it because it was, um, there's like a certain type of texture on the inside that's like bothering her skin. Um, I tried it on and I look gross in it. <laughs> I look very ugly in it. It's a no. I just I feel like the plaid button-ups haven't been my style for a while. That rhymed. Call me Dr. Seuss. It's just not been like my thing for a while, so we're just gonna say no. We're gonna Simon Cowell that bitch. This is a turtleneck. Um, you may wonder when the hell have you worn a turtleneck? The answer is never. I don't think I'm gonna wear this turtleneck because I can see my back rolls in it because I have back rolls. Like a lot of people on, uh, on earth. I don't like turtlenecks. I don't like the stuff around my neck. It's too much. <sighs> it's unfortunately I know for me because I look really just, ugh, that actually triggers me. <laughs> oh, this I'm not getting rid of because it is a design that I just made, which you can get from milesmerch.com, milesmerch.com. And it says no thanks on the corner. It's very cute. It's like one of my favorites. I think I'm gonna crop it. I feel like that'd be fun. I also got this shirt like a while back. It's got like this, ah, it's tangled. It's got like this, like these straps that go in the back and then it's like this. Um, I used to like it, but I don't like the material and also like clings to my back rolls, which I'm very insecure about. So we just, we don't need that in our lives. We do not need that in our lives. So throw it away. Not throw it away. Don't hate it. It doesn't bring us happiness. This is like one of my favorite t-shirts. I it's really hard for me to get rid of it, but like the the armhole really small. It's just never like fit properly, but I really liked it, but 
it just it shows like my back rolls and like it squeezes my arms it's just not comfortable and i unfortunately have to get rid of it are we getting tired yet yes this is a look this is cute I'm gonna keep this because I always wanted to wear it, but I could never wear it to school. My mouth is getting dry from talking about my clothes. <laughs> these are some men's swim shorts. I know that these, I don't know, are these flattering on me? I do not know. I kind of got some like bigger ones because I was feeling really insecure. So I just like wanted to wear some like men's swim shorts. They're kind of a, a look though. I'm gonna keep these. These are fucking cool. I'm gonna keep them. I'm gonna separate mine and Logan's pile. <laughs> My pile's kinda floating onto his. I'm tired of v-necks. Regular plain v-necks, boring. I'm tired of it. Never fits right. It's always like way up here because like, I am too obtuse in the, ch obtuse in the chest. This is definitely men's clothing, but it's mine. <laughs> it's not actually Logan's. I didn't steal this from him. I just think that this shirt's really cute. This is one of my favorite shirts. It's camouflage, it's really cool. Oh, my eye. It's really cool, it's got this writing on the side. It says New York. Here's the back. I, I love shopping at West 49. It's my favorite place to go. I also have this. Um, this will be cute, right? You know, you look at it, you think it'd be cute. It's not. I just, I've tried to wear this, but I haven't because it makes my arms itchy. It's disappointing, but I'm, it's a no for me. Plus it tucks in and I get like a roll. I'm just, yeah, somebody else can have it. The pile is getting smaller. I've worn this shirt so many times, but the problem is, is it's red with white, like fabric strips here. But the strips have been like, kind of stained almost like a pinkish color. They're kind of dingy looking. This also like clings on to dog hair and like squeezes my arms kind of, I don't know. It's just not, not my favorite. So I'm getting rid of that one. I used to like this, but I don't know. It doesn't fit how it's supposed to. And it also clings to my rolls. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. I don't really feel my best in it. So I'm going to donate this. Okay, this is one of my favorites. It says, good vibes all day, every day. It's in bright pink, bright pink shirt, but I don't know because I don't have the cutest, most toned arms and I haven't worn this a really long time. I'm assuming that it'll fit me a whole lot better than it used to. This is my Pulp Fiction shirt. Great shirt overall. Love it. This is cool. This one makes me feel like Kim Possible for some reason. I don't understand why. It's this bodysuit. It's got this neon green zipper and it's really soft and pretty. Like, I don't know, it makes me feel good. So I'm gonna keep it. I love this shirt a lot. I have this turtleneck. It's like an off-white color. This is like the only turtleneck that I actually really, really love. I think it's super cute. Um, sometimes you can kind of see my back rolls in it, but I'm like, okay, it's not terrible. And I also like to wear like um, a crew neck sweater over top. It looks really cute. It's like layered. I think I like it. It kind of makes me look muscular. And isn't that what we want in life? To just look absolutely ripped. I just said I didn't like turtlenecks, but I have like a bunch of like little mini turtleneck sort of things. And another turtleneck. Yeah, okay, so I'm a liar um, because this is also kind of a turtleneck. It's this velvet pink long sleeve crop top and I freaking love it. I do not wear it very often, but I think I'm actually gonna start trying to get out of my comfort zone a little bit. Another turtleneck. Wow, I am a liar. Um, it zips up in the back because it's actually from the store that I bought my ballet slippers from. The texture of this gives me the chills really bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. I can get over it. No, I can't. I'm actually, I have goosebumps. Um, I don't know why I'm like that. I don't like it. Oh, this is a blue cardigan that I've had forever that looks really good on me and is the perfect length that like flatters my look. It's like a navy blue. It's really soft and comfy. So that's a keep. This is a shirt that I bought for Logan and then borrowed because it smelled like him. I love this shirt. It is a look. 
it looks really great on me, I feel like. And I don't see him wear it a whole lot. Um, I originally, like, kept it because he didn't really like it on himself. Um, but then he's like, no, I like it now. So, obviously, he can have it. But I still occasionally borrow it because it's so cute. Look at, like, the, the collar line of it. I love it. I have a shirt. It's Calvin Klein, weirdly enough. But it's, like, this, like, almost like a sweater. It's like a v-neck. It's like a longer sweater. I think it's super cute. I'm gonna keep it. It's really comfortable too. This is one of my coolest crop tops, I feel like. So it has like this like detail on the arm. Yeah, cause Arden was having a wicked sale. But yeah, I feel like I look cute in it. I like it. These are just pajamas with <laughs> raccoons on them. Love that. I got this. It's from Forever 21. I got it from my sister. It's like this like cropped cardigan. It goes a little bit off the shoulder cause it's like loose and comfortable. I like it, it's cute, and I like the color a lot, so I'm going to keep it. I got this like forever ago, and it's like, it goes like this, and it's blue and striped, and sometimes I wear like that navy cardigan with it. Like I've had like a whole look where I have like black leggings, this, the navy cardigan, and like some sort of boots or something. It was a look. Um, I'm gonna keep it because it's really comfortable. It still fits me. And it's just like a cool, it's a cool shirt. And I like how it like drapes. I have this dress. This will fit me so much better because of my surgery. But this like this cool dress and it's like almost sporty. I don't know. I feel like it's really cool. I really want to take like a photo shoot with it and like a tennis court or something. I feel like that would be, that would be a vibe. I have this, which is really cool. Um, I'm not too sure what I'm going to wear it with. It's almost semi-see-through, so I have to be really careful with it. Um, I'm gonna need like some sort of like tube. Bandeau, a bandeau. You see my stretch marks, but who cares? You know, I have them on my shoulder for some reason. Legends say that I'm just so ripped that uh, I got stretch marks on my arms. Believe what you will. I have had this forever. It's like this like interesting design. <laughs> Pattern, interesting pattern. This used to be trendy for sure, but it is too tight on my arms. I was gonna try and make it work again because I was looking through like old clothes that I meant to donate but never did. Then I got my surgery and I was like, okay, now I fit this. I gotta get rid of this. This still doesn't fit right. It still doesn't, it squeezes my arms too. So yeah, goodbye. Um, This is not supposed to be in here. What is this, a duvet cover? Yeah, sorry, I don't wear duvet covers usually. This is like the coolest thing that my sister has ever given to me. It's like this cool robe. I know it looks like grandma's tablecloth. Actually, oh, are we trying this on? Well, I guess we are. This is like the coolest. Isn't this cool? This is my Christmas sweater. It's a dirty Christmas sweater, so it has snowmen, and then one of the snowmen has a smaller carrot than the other, if you know what I mean. Um, it's hilarious. I love this sweater so much. My friend got it for me. He got all of those matching sweaters. Logan has like reindeers doing the nasty. I wore this to school and the teacher didn't realize that it was a dirty Christmas sweater. And she gave me like, so at some schools they have like bonus dollars or whatever, a dollar, but you can only spend it at school if that makes sense. So she gave me one of those for wearing this. <laughs> I feel really bad. <laughs> this is a medium shirt. You're probably wondering, wow, it's a medium, but why is it so loose? Um, that's because it's a maternity shirt. I got Logan to help me plan and do my birthday party. So I got him to pick up balloons and I wanted a nice like shirt or dress to wear over my bathing suit or just like, cause my birthday's in July. He comes back with baby shower balloons. The balloons say happy baby shower. And this shirt's a maternity shirt. I don't know what like he was trying to tell me I don't know if I should sue. This is just an Everlast sweater. I usually wear it to like work out and walk the dogs. I paid a lot of money for this. Maybe I'm a bit ashamed, but it's still one of my favorite shirts. I feel like, I feel like I can pull it off. I'm gonna tell myself that I can pull it off, but it's a Levi's shirt. I will probably never buy a Levi's shirt again because they're so expensive and it's just cause it's Levi's. <laughs> Here's my favorite shirt that I didn't realize that my boyfriend actually borrowed and he wore to my house. I'm wearing this shirt now. Yeah, so it says have a beach and day. It's one of my favorites. I've worn it for so long. 
I've had it for at least a year now, I think, almost. I got this in like grade nine, and it's so small, it's tight on my arms, and it picks up like fuzzies or like pilling really easily, so that's a no for me. Oh, there might be almost too much cologne on this, or I don't even know what's on it. Um, this is like, it used to be cute because it used to be fluffier, but now it just looks like a sheep. Look on the inside, you can see how it used to be like fuzzy. That's what it used to look like, but now it's kind of just all pilled up. Oh, this has too much fragrance on it. I have one Teddy Fresh sweater. I don't regret getting it because it is more, it, like, it'll fit me forever. It should fit me forever. And it's really good quality. This is another one of my designs. I made this. This is the one of the newest ones. This is like the coolest, one of the coolest ones I've made, in my opinion. This is one of my favorite shirts because it's like semi-see-through so I can like wear like a cool shirt underneath but like also have this on top. It's like layering. Oh, it's a new design that I made. It says, out of this world and my mind and it's an alien. Super cute. You can also get that at milesmerch.com. And the last of all of these is, oops, is this sweater also available at milesmerch.com <laughs> because I made this. Um, and it's just like a bean, or not a bean neck, it's a crew neck sweater that I like to wear that off-white turtleneck underneath. That is it for now. I hope that that maybe inspired you to clean out your closet and clean out your stuff. Do some spring cleaning. Get rid of things that don't make you feel, um, confident or happy. Thank you for joining me. I hope this video was like semi-interesting. I appreciate you watching this, as always. Subscribe, like for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace! and blessed.